What is limbic system therapy and how is it useful in the treatment of trauma? According to Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, most interventions that he recommends for working with trauma fall within the category of limbic system therapy. Here, Bessel describes how we can conceptualize the limbic system and why it's crucial to focus on these particular areas of the brain and body when working with trauma. There's a metaphor I'd like to use uh, in that so much of trauma is in the limbic system, or what people used to call the limbic system. Um, in that all these areas of the brain have to do with danger, safety, perception of the world get changed. So basically, most of the therapies that I'm advocating here is limbic system therapy. It's not about understanding or figuring things out. Uh, uh, because uh, that's not really where the trauma sits. Trauma sits in your automatic reactions and your dispositions and how you interpret the world. So, so um, in order to uh, to really rewire those automatic perceptions, you need to have deep experiences that for your survival brain contradicts um, how you are now disposed to think. Bessel just mentioned the limbic system. Broadly speaking, it's the emotional part of the brain. It contains both the hippocampus and the amygdala. The hippocampus is associated with memory and the amygdala is involved in detecting threat. Now you might have noticed that he said what people used to call the limbic system. That's because there's some question about whether or not it's still useful to think of all the parts of the brain that make up the limbic system as a unified system. However, what's important to take away here is this. Trauma doesn't necessarily live in the part of the brain that's concerned with reason and insight. It inhabits the parts that shape our temperament, the way we understand the world, and our automatic reactions. So when we target the part of the brain that's feeling and reacting automatically, when we create a new experience that contradicts the lesson that that part of the brain has learned from trauma, that can change the way a person with a trauma history is wired to respond. So what does it look like to have an experience like that, an experience that rewires the brain? For example, if you grow up thinking that you're helpless and that anybody can do anything to you unless you yell at them, um, that becomes your disposition. But now, if you take a martial art course, and you get to deeply feel like, wow, I can kick anybody in the groin at any time if I feel like it, and I can protect myself. And if you have experienced that of becoming a martial artist, then that feeling of I'm always helpless will dramatically change. You cannot do this abstractly. And so you need to have experiences that directly contradict how your body is disposed. Who understands this best is the U.S. Army, who learned it from the Dutch army, that learned it from the Roman army uh, over 2,000 years. And that if you want to take a bunch of young recruits who are usually not the cream of the crop, but tend to be sort of fairly good for nothing, 17 and 18 years old, the best way to get them to do things is to do basic training. And basic training, you march and you climb and you crawl through the mud and every night you go to bed and say, Oh my God, I'm amazing. I survived this. I thought I could never do this, but I can. And by the end of 12 weeks, these kids are transformed because they have experiences that run them to the max of new challenges. And we should have experiences like that in every mental health center. That is limbic system therapy. So to change the way a client's body reacts after trauma, we need physical experiences that directly contradict what the body has learned. Now I'd like to hear from you. How will you use this idea in your work with your patients? Please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.